and tool. Alright. Um get rid of this here, PDB, not needed. I'll show you now where you can get the server.dll. In your operating system folder wherever you put the code, the source folder, um go to game, server, release episodic. Then in here, go look for server DLL. There it is. Control C. Um, to make it defaultly put all the stuff in that folder, you should right click on it, uh, properties, and in here, once it decides to come up, you can just change this to whatever folder you want the second, the intermediate directory to be, or whatever. But um, now you get used to it eventually. You just need them too for the game to run, basically. So the game will run now. And it will have code for the HUD to work, but first of all, <coughs> now that that's done, we can close this Visual Studio. And we will copy over our two items, the VMT and the VTF. So control C them. Go to, oh, yes. Now you need to make a materials folder. And in there, you will make a HUD folder, like I was telling you earlier on. It's specific to whatever the code said. And here, you can paste them. And that's grand. They're ready. Now, in your scripts folder, scroll down and you'll find HUD layout.res. Right click, open with. And I'm going to change it to notepad, because that's just handy. And then open up this one over here which has the important stuff we need which is HUD import or you can go to the site which has this little thing here copy that which we'll see and up here paste it file save now I'm going to say a few things about this this is just the import, this is the res file, script file it's a good thing about the source engine and the way it's been laid out is that n nearly everything can be modified through scripts, almost everything can be modified through scripts and you, you've great it saves you having to recompile the code again and again or going hunting for something that might be wrong or variables here or variables there it really is handy so um, this is the X and the Y position for the panel the width and the height um, visibility will be set to zero but it will be enabled because whatever you've got in the CPP code um, it will override it with this but this is the way it works for me anyway background type and um, that will make it whether it has curved corners like this or straight over and down kind of like a block I'm pretty sure that's a block oh no hold on that's curved that's curved yeah anyway if I save that res file um which res file was that now oh yeah yeah that was the right one and that was this one just be sure I'll open it again yeah that's grand Alright, now we're ready to roll. So I'm just gonna pause recording with this, open up fraps and record a bit of in-game stuff and then show you how it went. One thing I should mention though before I come play the game, you would be looking at your list, where the hell's my game gone? Uh you have to restart Steam for the game to come. So uh just exit Steam, restart it, and oh, and that should be it. It should be on the list. You won't have an icon because I'll actually make another tutorial as to how to get an icon sitting on the side. <sighs> and that's more or less it. Yeah. And in your games list, after you decide to update it, you should be able to scroll down and find your mod. Right, where'd it go? Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. It's trail mod. And I just launched that. It uses, since it's the orange box, it'll be using um, the episode 1 content, so it'll just load it all from the GCF. Ready, I'll go and frap that up and see what it looks like. Alright, so um, I've got VLC open here. I'm just going to sort of bring it down in size a little bit. Sorry. There we go. Alright, this is me in game. Um, enable the developer console, do that, go to options, keyboard, 
advanced um, check both of them anyway enable developer console ok apply ok resume game and uh, it's the button underneath the escape key next to one uh, it's to the left of one on your keyboard it's the developer console key if you don't know what it is god I don't know how to describe it to you it's just a key really fiddle around until you see something like this pop up type E backspace it'll stop from going down and then show underscore devil's trap one but space one and then this will come up and this is what we've worked on well I've made the VTF in Photoshop and other programs oh god it took me ages to get it working it's not great because like it was really hacky at the time if I wanted to I could go make enough a better one it doesn't have to be animated it can be regular picture just sitting in the corner it could be part of your hood it could be a weapon you know so it's whatever you want it to be really and you can put as many as you want just as long as you get the positions and the res files right but you would have to make a separate CPP file for each one unless you specify in the first CPP file how it works or whatever but I'm not going to go into that now so um, more or less that's it it works out pretty well the rest file you'd have to edit it so that it fits centrally more in that panel or the panel itself comes up to meet the suited requirements for the size of the image and that's it so um I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial or well at least help you anyway I'm representing LYIT which is my institute of technology at the minute and um I've got to go to college now in two minutes so uh, I hope that guys help that has helped you in some way. So, um, cheers for listening and watching. Um, so yeah, again, I'm Foo Fighter, and you'll probably see a few more tutorials coming up. But starting on Source because I'm working on my own mod at the minute. And uh, thanks again. Slangful.